In this video, I'm going to walk through how to set up Audacity to start recording and making your music for the first time. Uh, I'm going to do a really simple method here. So the first thing after you've downloaded Audacity is you want to go into Audio Setup. And what you want to make sure is that your playback device is selected. This is going to be the device that the music is played back for. If you have an audio interface that you're using to listen to, you want to select that. Then we want to select your recording device. This is going to be the microphone that you are recording through. And if you have an audio interface that you're doing that through, then you select that. And that's what I have selected for both items. Next, we need to configure in the delay. So if you have a microphone cable hooked up to recording, uh, there could be a slight latency delay and you want to adjust for that. So to do that, what we want to do is first load up a sample track Then we want to set up our headphones that we are using to listen to the music, crank up the volume, and then record over top the microphone. Once we have that set up, we can then work on the next step, which is going to be setting up our recording tracks. Now, before we hit um, our record step to figure out the latency, we want to set up for uh, recording. When you first download, Audacity, there are some preset settings that we may need to adjust depending on what you have. So hit the edit drop down and then select preferences. On this device, we can see that we have our devices and then we want to make sure that our recording device is recording to the correct number of channels. Now, my microphone is a mono microphone. Uh, so I want to make sure that I select mono and apply that. Otherwise, our recording will be done only on stereo tracks. Uh, the next thing we want to do is add a new track. It's going to be a mono track. And now we're just simply going to hit the record button. And what's going to happen is we're going to include playback of our background track. And we're going to see that on here. And we'll be able to zoom in and see if there's any delay. Okay, now we are ready to record with the headphones over the microphone so we can get a sample of the audio as it's coming through. Okay, and that's all the, the time that I really need for there. So what I really want to do is I want to compare the waveform from here and to here and see what the difference is. Now we're going to want to make sure that we're including time up to the millisecond. So select that so we can see all the details inside here and get the uh, closest time that we can. The next thing we want to do is maybe when we, we want to expand this, make this a little larger. We're just going to compare these two tracks and we're going to zoom in. So we can see this one starts about here and this one starts about here. So we just want to compare that. And then we can see this one starts at 301 and this one starts at 334. So then we have a difference of 0 0.033 that we need to take an account and adjust. So now we want to go back into our preferences. And then in our latency compensation, we want to adjust this accordingly. So we can see the default latency here is minus 130, but that's not enough. Uh, we have an additional 33 that we need to add on here. Should, in my case, that's going to take it to 63. And now it should work. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to delete this and we're going to try this again. Okay, now we can take a close look here. And zoom in. And we can see it looks like it's lining up pretty much exactly the waveform here and the waveform here. And then we can test this out by just playing both of them together and making sure they sound uniform. So it looks like we are now good and we're set up because we don't have the latency in there. 
Now it's just a matter of playing the music and singing along. <laughs> 